Hey guys, today I have this simple makeup look for you, perfect for fall, with a bold lip and some natural eyes and a little bit of dewy skin. So if you guys are interested, let's go ahead and hop on in. To start off this look, I'm taking my Smashbox Primer Oil to go ahead and prep the skin. I love applying a facial oil prior to my foundation. I just think it makes the skin look super dewy, radiant, and really hydrated. So I'm going to go ahead and blot this in with a damp beauty blender. So this step is optional, but I'm gonna be taking a secondary primer to go ahead and mix in with this one. I'm taking the Dermalogica Hydro Blur Primer and placing a little bit into the T-zone area where I have the most pores and just blotting it in. This is really just gonna give that blurred effect and prep for the foundation to adhere a little bit better. I personally love using two primers, but you definitely do not have to. Then I'm going in with the Too Faced Perfect Peach Foundation. I love this foundation. It is so bomb. So I'm going to blot this all over my skin with that same damn beauty blender. And this is in the shade Warm Nude. I'm going to go ahead and put this all over. I love the coverage of it. I did a whole video talking about it. I am obsessed. So I'm going to blend this all the way down to my neck as well. going to mix in a little bit of my wet and wild photo focus foundation it's a little bit lighter than this one so I thought that by mixing the two I'd get my perfect shade so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to that and blend it all together taking this new moda brush it is a stippling brush I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it down to my neck whatever is remaining on the face I didn't apply anything to the brush I'm just gonna go ahead and blot this in and just stipple it around just to make sure that all the foundation is blended in then taking NYX full coverage concealer in this pot I'm gonna go ahead and apply it right underneath my eyes with this beauty blender in a V formation just to give a brightening effect as well as covering up those babies under there because you know we need some covering I'm also gonna put a little bit on my forehead but then I'm also going in with my Tarte Shape Tape because it is my baby I'm taking the shade medium and placing a little bit right on top and blending that together also applying this to the forehead area as well and blending that out To lock that down into place, I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm taking this Damp Beauty Blender again, which I love applying powder to set using a damp beauty sponge. I think it makes a world of a difference than just using a brush. So I'm going to go ahead and blot this in and then brush it away. So now that we have our base down, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some highlighter underneath my brow bone. I'm not gonna be doing anything major to the eyes today. I'm keeping that pretty natural. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight up using Prosecco Pop from Becca. And this did come in this month's BoxyCharm for the month of October, which I was so happy about. You guys, this product alone is well over $21. And for the full BoxyCharm, you get five full-size items for 21 bucks a month, which I think is incredible. I will have a link down below where you guys can go check them out and get you a box because girl, I'm going to go ahead and also apply it into my inner corners of my eye. And then I'm going to go in with Too Faced. This is their Pink Leopard Bronzer. It has a little bit of blush in there. I'm going to go ahead and run this with the MAC brush into my crease of my eye. And I already applied like the leftover foundation onto my lid, so it's going to act as the base. So I'm just going to run this from inner to outer corner into my eye, just to kind of give some dimension. And like I said, I'm not adding anything to my eyes today. This is going to be the color. Just want to have some type of dimension and transition type of shade, just so it didn't look so dull. So we're going to go ahead and apply that back and forth. Then I'm going in with Too Faced Bronzer. This is the Chocolate Soleil with that MAC brush that I am in love with. Just to do a soft, soft contour and just add a little bit of bronze back into the skin. I'm also taking that bronzer on this brush into my forehead, the temple area, a little bit by my nose, and just really bronzing up the skin just a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and highlight up the skin using Prosecco Pop from Becca again, using this Morphe brush. This is perfect for highlighting. It is part of their gold collection. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this right on top of my cheekbones. And I'm obsessed with this highlighter, you guys. It is so gorgeous. I have this highlighter for such a long time and I used to use it all the time. 
And now I'm gonna also adhere some Mac Fix Plus just to get the pigment a little bit more rich. I'm placing it on my nose, my cupid's bow, and you guys already know the deal. I just over highlight, but that is my thing. And when I'm doing a really simple look with a pop of color, I like to focus more on the skin. So that is what I'm doing here. I just really like to get the skin looking fresh and healthy. Then taking BH Cosmetics M201 lashes. I love these lashes, you guys. This is my first time using them. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those on with some glue. Then we're going in with Benefit Their Real Mascara, and this is in the color black. I'm gonna go ahead and run that on my lower lashes and a little bit to the false ones above. And I like to focus more on the lashes during this look because this is the only thing I really have going on the eyes. So I just really take my time, apply the mascara, and make them look voluminous. Then I'm going to go ahead and pop a little bit more of the Becca highlight into the inner corner of my eye just to give a brightened eye. And then I'm going to be going in with a light, light contour using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer just on my nose just a little bit and blending it out with this Moda brush. Moving over to the lips and to spice up this look just a little bit, I'm taking this deep cranberry plum lip liner in the shade brown sugar and I'm going to go ahead and line up my lips and fill them in as well. And I'm also overlining just a tad and then we're going to go in with another lip product on top. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pair this with the Tarte Lip Paint in the shade Delish and pop this right into the center of my lips. This is gonna give more of an ombre effect because it's a tiny bit lighter than the lip liner. It gives a really nice dimension to the lips and it is a beautiful shade for fall. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face with the Makeup Forever Miss and Fix and then we're gonna apply a little bit more highlight just because that's how I roll. I love highlight. If you do not like that much, you do not have to add that much, but I just love a radiant, looking glow and then that pretty much wraps up this look super simple to achieve i think it is perfect for fall time and i just love how simple and easy it looks but also with that pop on the lips just screams falls me and i love it so if you guys enjoyed go ahead and give it a big thumbs up for me if you are new go ahead and subscribe to my channel i think that is all until my next video i will catch you then bye